back to another GT scale modeling video. Today we're going to run through the finally completed uh, on patrol Afghanistan diagrama. Uh, and that's what you can see there in front of you. What I'll also do is show you through the other sort of small Afghanistan themed diorama slash display base slash vignette, whatever you want to term it, that I made at the same time. Uh, as a result of my um, sort of changing my original plan um, and I briefly went through that last time so I'll show you that it's also finished so what we have in front of you is the as I said the completed diorama now the base hasn't changed since the last video because it was pretty much completed by the addition of some sort of uh, some small sort of street features here uh, and also the addition of the figures um, so yeah, that, that's all it really took was to finish off the last couple of figures and then put everything in its place. So a little breakdown of here, there's a mixture of things here. Uh, the two civilian figures that you can see here at the back and I will put up some pictures at the end, so apologies this is not overly close. What we can maybe do is we maybe zoom in a little bit for now. So the standing figure here and the seated figure here they're both from the mini art for you. Uh, the mini art Afghan civilians kit, which is quite a new release kit. Uh, comes with one, two, three, four, four figures, uh, a woman and a child, a, a young boy, uh, the seated kind of older man and a more middle-aged standing guy there. So I use that for two of the figures. The other Afghan civilian here, I'm go backwards and forwards a little bit. I do apologize. The guy with the the crook. He's from this master box set. This uh, a U.S. tank man in Afghanistan. He's the shepherd. He's the shepherd guy here. Uh, I did build the sheep and I toyed with the idea of putting the sheep on the base, but. I don't think that uh, it would have really looked in place, so I, I left that. The other figures uh, come from a range of kits. So we had uh, the, the two of the kneeling fellas are these guys here from the Bronco ATV kit, as well as the standing kind of officer looking dude here. Uh, that's where they came from. Um, so that's this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. The other standing figure came from the master box. Oh, I don't know if I've got the box left anymore, but it's the w master box Wimmick uh, vehicle crew set. Comes with two standing figures. So this this one guy here, a guy with a GPMG who I just thought would look a little out of place on this diorama, so I left him out. And this final figure here uh, is just from the, again, relatively newly released Gecko Models British Infantry in Combat circa 2010-2016 set 1. There's another set of these, which I may also pick up because I only use one figure from this. So uh, I may do some, some future, future um, dioramas or, or something that includes some of the other figures. Uh, they're definitely sort of diorama based figures and and things so we'd have to have a little think about that but it was the uh, the guy here checking his uh, checking his watch or his wrist mounted GPS that uh, that I use and that's the the guy who's down at the front here Just stand them out of the way so uh, zoom you back in a little bit so as I said before the building was made by Ian White and it's a huge uh, thank you to him for that and uh, yeah so I'll just uh, I'll show you around I'll put stills up at the end so please uh, I'd appreciate it if you just sort of hang around till the end and have a look at the, the stills uh, this little bin bag here made out of some actual plastic from a bag wrapped it glued the top give it a prime and I wash wrapped it around some tissue just to give it a little bit of shape it's a bit wonky but it is glued down and just a couple of sort of plastic cans just to give a little bit of 
life to the to the street. If I was to do this again, yes, I would probably put a lot more things in here. There's a bit of empty space here. However, it was originally intended to have the Wimmick on it, but I think the Wimmick would crowd it out. And so I decided to just make it as sort of a figure base only. So that's where I went with that. Uh, lots to sort of learn for the future, but it was the first sort of style of diorama I'd done of this kind of ilk. Um, and was also an exercise in, in painting the sort of MTP in the figures and things. So and I think it achieved that. So overall, I'm I'm happy with that. And uh, as I said, we'll put stills up of this one at the end. And I won't spend too much longer because my battery's going to die. And I don't want this to be too long of a waffle before you can uh, go and have a look around the figures and things. So I will just kind of scoot through this relatively quickly. The pictures are going to... So I'll show you more than I can do. So this is that Bronco ATV uh, on its small diorama. It's not really a diorama, it's more of a display base for it. All finished up. Uh, yeah, nice little kit. <clears throat> a little bit fragile in places, but nice. And uh, I think it builds into a nice little model. The only thing that's not finished on this is I realise I will, I will paint the... Uh, edges of the actual foam here. They're brown at the moment, but there's a bit of the pink foam showing through on the edge. I'll paint it black just to match the, the base. And there's some overspray on the bottom of the frame, which I'll just need to kind of try and clear off just to finish it up. The only other thing is this was intended to be a, a wet ditch with some water in the bottom. And I think, as I mentioned before, it's too big a area for for the still water from AK that I've got to to work this is what I've got here and it's what I use on the small ditch on the um the other diorama base but what I found is that even that small amount dried and pulled the filler away in some places and created some cracking not because the uh sort of acrylic resin itself cracked but that it pulled away as it shrank a little bit as it dried so on a big area like this, I do not want to, to risk ruining it by, by doing that. So I will get some two-part clear epoxy at some point when um when when funds allow. And I will just dam off a little bit here at each end and just pour a small amount in the bottom to give the impression of it being a, a damp irrigation ditch. And that's it. But I can do that as it is. So um, that's a, a future thing just to finish off. But to all intents and purposes, other than that, it is finished bar that and just just tidying up the edges here so again there will be stills at the end of this uh, of this as well so um, hopefully you'll stick around and have a look through those a little look there okay so I'll uh, I'll stop waffling there hopefully you I said go take a look at the pictures let me know what you think be good to hear people's thoughts um, the, the style of things is a little bit new for me, um, doing these kind of bases, um, I've not done many before, so that was not a challenge actually, it was it went relatively straightforward, so that was good, and it was quite enjoyable, and I'm just glad they're finished now, so I can move on to something else. So my next video, I'm kind of hoping that uh, it might take a while, so I'll apologise in advance for that. I'm hoping to do something where I can put together an actual full build video so not having to release different parts they they don't seem to be watched so well so I will put together it may be a combination of sort of pictures and little bits of filming or it may just be um, sort of a full picture build uh, I'll see how I go and I will try try that so that um, the next video may well be um, uh, an actual full build of something I'm, I'm not sure what yet I may need to dive into the stash might ease into that kind of style of thing with something relatively simple just to see uh, how manageable how to work it and all those things from from my point of view so until the next time thank you for watching uh, please do like the video drop a comment uh, subscribe if you haven't i do hope to try and get some more content coming out um and uh yeah keep following along i've, I've got an instagram page now the link will be in the description and a link to the Facebook page as well if you want to go and take a link. I know I'm gonna gonna try better to kind of update them more regularly with work in progress and, and things. So if you want to keep along with what I'm actually working on and things, then uh, then go and uh, give me a follow on those platforms as well. So thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.
Thank you.